as I was driving to the gym today, the only thing I was thinking about was the 45 degree hyper. Literally, that's all I really wanted to do today. Just come in and get as much volume, as much uh, repetitions as I can into that nice, godly piece of equipment called the 45 hyper. I came in again and I hit five sets of 20. Uh, I would have loved to done more, uh, but I just, I couldn't like the lower back gets absolutely lit up and it's almost debilitating. Uh, I start, you know, recently I've been starting the sessions with the 45 hyper and then ending it with the 45 hyper. I feel like the ending block of 45 hypers is a lot easier than the beginning. For some reason at the beginning, the lower back just lights up like nobody's business. Uh, so I'm basically limited to doing five sets. Uh, so I did that, went over, started uh, front squatting. And then later on, I went back to the 45 hypers like I said, uh, but that's all I really wanted to do. But the, 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 the front squats have been feeling good. Um, they've been feeling good because, well, I'm not doing deficit deadlifts in the last few days. I've, I've had, you know, no, I can't remember exactly how many days, but I've had a whole bunch of days now off without the heavy, heavy deficit deadlifts. So my body's feeling really good, really refreshed, and front squatting is feeling amazing. Uh, so really, all I've been doing... Uh, in the last, I don't know how many days, a whole bunch of days, is the 45 degree hypers when I'm at the gym, when I'm at the home, I've, uh, you know, I've done the good mornings, and then there's the front squats. That is literally my whole training program right now. And to be honest with you, I'm not even thinking about anything else. I'm not missing anything else. All I am doing is the 45 hyper and some squatting and that's it. The reason for that uh, is simple. It makes me feel amazing. It makes me feel amazing. The lower back, upper back, uh, through front squats is getting absolutely obliterated. So uh, the 45 hyper smash the lower back. Front squats, I'm, I'm really, really sore in the traps. Today, you guys will see, uh, I ended up doing seven triples at 140 kilos. So, you know, I did five triples the other day. And so I'm sore from that. I'm probably going to be really sore from, from this as well. So basically from my tailbone all the way to my neck, the, the, the back is lit up. Uh... And that's, that's all I'm thinking, you know, uh, I'm missing to, to a degree doing the Olympic weightlifting stuff. Uh, but right now, as I always say to you guys, I always make references to my, you know, one to 10, if you will, ranking of importance of exercises of, of my ambition, or what I really want to do when I go to the gym. Uh, obviously, we all have our lives, you know, and there's priorities everywhere when you zoom out to that extent. But this small portion of my life, this training, which really is quite large when I, you know, in my eyes, um, that's what I think about during my free time. Within it, uh, I have priorities. And obviously, squatting is always going to be number one. That's kind of what I fell in love with. I've kind of said that it's the wrong thing to fall in love with because of my body type and all that. But that's what I find most joy in doing. Um, but I can't do it alone. It needs to be supported by something. Um, this idea of doing deficit deadlifts it w was great and uh, I want to do it again but really what I've identified is that you know this deficit deadlifting without you know doing some sort of volume is just too taxing uh, so now in the next foreseeable, fu uh, for foreseeable future all I really want to do is do the 45 degree hyper put some sort of resilience in it and then kind of like sprinkle the deficit deadlifts over the top like this, it's salt. But the base is always going to be the 45 hyper or good morning or something like that for lots and lots of repetitions. Um, at home, I don't have the 45 degree hyper. If I did, I'd probably make 45 hypers across the board every single day. But on working days, on days that I can't go to the gym, I think the, the most closest uh, barbell movement that you can do to a 45 degree hyper is, is the good morning, I guess. Um, it's easier to set up. I don't have to, you know, mess around with all these different things. A bunch of you guys have sent me videos um, of people or yourselves setting up, you know, a makeshift type of 45 degree hyper with a, with a power rack, with a bunch of other things, um, which is all well and good, but I don't know. I, I feel as though it's kind of too much work. Might as well just freaking do good mornings and be done with it. It's kind of like easy. I don't have to move stuff around at 4.30 in the morning. I can just get on with it. Um, so that's basically it. If you're trying to picture out what my program is going to be, basically the moment I walk into the gym is going to be a 45 degree hyper slash good morning. And then I'll move into some front squatting 
and literally that is it uh, that's what i'm planning to do tomorrow um you know i want to say that i want to get excited about deficit deadlifts again uh but this is this is one of those things man like it, it always comes back to the same idea it's like you know if you want to give you know a lot of lot of attention to one thing that is fantastic but that very attention that you're giving to one thing is taking away energy and resources and all that stuff from other things. So, for instance, today, I couldn't wait to get to the gym to do the 45 degree hypers, right? And I'm at the gym. I didn't go to the gym yesterday. So the chance for doing deficit deadlifts is there. But I just really wanted to do 45 hypers. So I should have really walked in and done the deficits and then done the 45 degree hypers. But I did the 45 degree hypers first because I wanted to do that. It kind of felt that's what I needed to do. With that lower back pump, it would be idiotic for me to go into a deficit deadlift movement with a freaking pump from, from hell in the lower back. Like I'm feeling the freaking tendons in my in my sacral area, like at the tailbone. That like that's how much of a pump I got that I was feeling the tendons, you know, the erectors where they're kind of inserting or originating or whatever, you know, wherever they're coming from. So, you know, ideally deficit deadlifts and then finish off the workout with 45 hypers. But I'm so freaking impressed with how the 45 hypers are, are feeling along with the good mornings, this high rep business, posterior chain stuff that I've, I'm just right now saying, screw the deficit deadlift. I'm just going to sink all of my energy into this and that's it. And I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Um, I'm also able to squat now, like I said, because I'm not doing deficit deadlifts. So I'm in a funky groove right now where I've got like, <coughs> excuse me, where I've got two things going on. Two things. After everything's everything been said and done, I'm doing two things. Um, probably there's more chance for me to do some sort of snatching or, or, or snatch balance or something like this, uh, more so than deficit deadlifts because, you know, it's lightweight, it's technique work basically and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's, it's, yeah, I'm sitting here thinking about, you know, all the things that I've kind of attempted to do in the last few months. So many different things. And I, I met a fella at the gym who's from Melbourne, um, he was giving me some tips about all the lifting and, and, and whatnot. Like that's his jam right now. He's, he's getting prepared, preparing for an Olympic weightlifting competition. And we started talking and, and uh, you know, sharing ideas and he's giving me pointers. And I, I basically said to him, it's almost like, you know, th th there's, there seems to be a clash in my mind between the disciplines. You know, I've got this powerlifting thing in my mind right now and I've got this Olympic weightlifting thing in my mind right now. And it's kind of like, there's only so many, um, there's only so many resources, you know, if you just take one sport, you know, and you, and you think about the resource resources, you know, distribution within one sport, let's say powerlifting between the three, big three, how are you going to spread the points there? But then you put in Olympic weightlifting and it's like, okay, man, you know, we're spreading our shit way too, too, too thin, you know, um, that's kind of how I felt with the whole squat everyday journey. Like that, that's all I really want to do. Like, and really a sport for me doesn't even exist because for me, the, the squat is the sport and that doesn't exist. Right. So that I really love to do that. And everything else is kind of secondary feeding into the squat. This is why the bench presses fell off. This is why pull-ups have fallen off, uh, uh push-ups, uh, Olympic weightlifting is great. And I really have a lot of fun with it. And it's definitely in the, in the, in the good books. But I'm just thinking to myself, like nothing like that can really coexist if I'm smashing the hell out of the 45 hypers. And I'm well aware, and, and all of you guys have uh, said this to me, I tend to have this extremist way of thinking. Um, I, I guess it's, it's expected from a guy who's freaking almost a thousand days in to have extremist tendencies in thought when it comes to uh, training, I guess even life, you know, I, I tend to just, you know, push too hard in, in one way. And, and, you know, it's like, you know, it's one or the other kind of thing. It's the, you know, there should be a blend. I, I almost struggle with blending things. You know, I, I'm not a good blender. <laughs> um, moderation, right? Like that, that to me, like even if, when I think about sports and video games and all this sort of stuff, like, like all these different ideas are popping into my mind. Like I love specialists. I love that guy who's a spot up shooter, knockdown like shooter. That's his thing. Like, so when I look at him, I'm like, he's a shooter. The guys who are like, kind of like all over the place, he can do everything. I'm like, you're good. 
but you're not really that clear what you're freaking doing for me, you know? Um, unless you're freaking LeBron James and you can do everything better than anyone kind of thing, except maybe shooting or something like this. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I know what I'm, what I'm probably doing wrong. Like you don't need to do 45 hypers every single day. You can do it every other day. And on, in between days, you can do some deficit pulls. And before the deficit pulls on those sessions, you can maybe do some Olympic weightlifting. Like there's time for everything. But really like last few days, I'm like, okay, I'm going in. I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, smashing the hell out of the 45 hyper. And when I can't do enough, so I've come in straight, power walk to the damn 45 hyper. Pull my bag down, jump on. Do one set, do two sets, three, four, five. After the fifth set, I was done. Like literally, I could have just, you know, power walked back to the car and driven home. Like that's how much the pump was. But no, like I've learned things about the body. Go do something else. Let that body, the body's pump wash away, right? I did the front squats for about half an hour, 45 minutes. And then come back to this thing. It's almost like you never done it and hit it again, right? Really, at that point, I should have gone done something else again, maybe, I don't know, bench press or something, and come back and do a 45 hyper again. But at that point, like, you are knocking on the door of, like, I don't know, rhabdomyolysis or something like that. Like, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like, uh, you know, I reckon I could do, I don't know, maybe I'm talking shit now. I reckon I could do, like, 20 sets of 20 on the 45 hypers. Uh, you know, I reckon I could do that. But I would need to space out these blocks of five throughout the session in such a way where there's enough time for the, you know, for the for the pump to wash away, and I can come back and hit it again. I mean, I, like I know, and, and I've kind of experienced that with pull-ups as well. Like you can do that, but it gets to a point where it's like, man, this is a ridiculous amount of volume, and you know, talking about max recoverable volume and all that, like you, you're you're going way through to the top. You know, like it's it's too much. So there's definitely a <coughs> there's a um, threshold there is a perfect amount of volume that we all kind of seek in our training and we all well, clearly it's not a video game we don't have a cheat code for it it's biology right so it's always in flux and so we we kind of either undershoot or overshoot it sometimes we get it sweet and you know you know we feel best um but you know doing 20 sets of 20 i don't care what it is man that's a bit too much man like that's like german volume on steroids man like I think German volume is 10 by 10. This is 20 by 20. This is crazy. So that's that's basically what I'm thinking right now. I'll be honest with you. All I want to do is 45 hyper. That's it. Um, and, you know, one of the things that I'm feeling right now is the squatting kind of feels all right as well because the, the hamstrings and the glutes, and I feel like that long adductor, I don't even know what it is, man. The long adductor, like I feel that also kind of flare up as well. All of that is getting lots of blood and I'm feeling fantastic. And as I've always said it to you guys, I, I, you know, beating around the bush for a very long time, when my hamstrings feel good, warmed up, pumped up, you know, when, when I feel that, like that swole, like, you know, when you crouch down and you feel the hamstring kind of, you know, resting against the calves, like you feel like there is a muscle there. When I have, when I have feelings like that, I just squat better. I, I don't know what it is. And I know a lot of people have said the hamstrings are like not really involved. I don't know. It's, to me, it's an indicator. It's like, it's a very clear indicator of what sort of performance I will have at the gym based upon what my hamstrings health is doing. You know, um, I've tried lots of different things, man, like from sumo deadlifts to deadlift volume, like light, light weights to... Uh, hamstring curls to standing hamstring curls, single leg hamstring curls, uh, RDLs, good mornings, uh, you name it, man, deficit pulls, block pulls, all of that stuff. Every single time I, I, I obsess about one of these types of movements, movements from that type of family of just literally hip hinging, I feel amazing. I feel amazing. And, you know, if you zoom way out and you kind of look at the body as a, as a whole, if I kind of picture myself, kind of out of body kind of experience, Ivan, okay, you're squatting a lot. It makes sense that if you're hinging with it a lot, you're going to feel better because there's balance there. There's just simply balance there. Anyway, those are my thoughts for tonight. Um, I just want to do some hypers. That is literally, that's all on my mind. Uh, Taylor, Samuel and Steven, fellas, appreciate you. Uh, special thanks to you guys. Uh, Along with everyone else on the Patreon list, 
uh, who's you know supported me. Um, the guys on Discord, Discord has really become what I've envisioned. So I thank you all of you guys who are saying to me, do do um Discord. It's a lot better. I've made a whole bunch of channels. I'm kind of a bit more familiar with it now. You guys are uploading videos. I'm seeing guys lift. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted out of this thing. And Discord is literally doing everything that I wanted. So thank you guys. You guys are also giving me, you know, suggestions. Open up another channel for this, that, the other. I'm following you guys' advice. I love, I love going on Discord and seeing you guys lift and whatever. And it's kind of like, you know, I see these usernames on the screen and now I'm like, okay, now I see him lift and I'm like, sick, man. This is what he moves like. And it's like amazing. I love it. It's like a proper community now. I'm really, really, really happy with it. Um, so I appreciate all of that, guys. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.